Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last episode, we fought, uh, we did a bunch of things. We got a ton of upgrades. Um, we got through a good chunk of the Hirata Estate, and we fought Jozu the Drunkard once, and then we died, uh, which is fine. We only attempted him once, and we almost got him. Oh, man, can you guys... Makiri counter? Um... There we go. Take that guy out. Ooh. Please block when I tell you to block. No, self. What are you doing? Alright, we've taken way more damage here than I would have liked. But we can get a lot of it back. So I'm not too worried. Really? Okay, that guy's dead. Kill the bow guy. Alright, there we go. So there's a fair amount of stuff. So now, we need to go back to this area and take out all of Fat Jozu's little friends. And he has a whole lot of little friends. But that's fine, because they are basically health recovery. <laughs> that, that's essentially what they are right now, which is fine by me. So we're going to take out this shield dude. Jozu's right behind me, so I'm going to run. The goal is to take out at least two guys on every little pass through. And it should only take a couple. And then we can come over here. Lose aggro. I don't know if this actually hides me or not. This guy definitely still sees me. But he is now definitely dead. So that's good. That guy with the torch might work his way down here. If he does, that's fine. I can kill him and then move on to the rest of his goose. We got three guys there. Okay, he's backing away. This is fine. So we'll just let him kind of... Oh, are you going to... Now you've changed your mind and started walk... walking forward again? What are you doing, guy? Make up your mind. Maybe I'll just run up there and kill him. I think I like that idea. Not a fan of that. There we go. Back to full health. How many friends does Jozu have left? Just this guy? And then a shield guy behind him? Okay. Kill him. Alright. There we go. I think that's all the enemies done in essentially two passes. There we go. Lost the aggro. So now we'll be able to sneak up on him and get a death blow once he walks back to the middle, which is what he's doing right now. And he's dumb, so he won't look over here. Right, he's got his back turned. All the enemies are dead. All right, we're good to go. Just sneak up on him, and... Hey, missed! All right. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It's fine. I think maybe this time we'll make use of the uh, Samurai Warrior Shinobi guy. Uh, let's just run over here, actually. You should de, de aggro like, fairly quickly. Yeah, there we go. And we can just peek out... All right, he's back in position. Samurai dude is still here. Basically, what I want to do is run up, stab him in the back, go talk with the 
Uh, samurai guy really fast. I am going to have to not listen to his dialogue in order to do it fast enough. So pause the video and <laughs> read it if you need to. But this is my plan. All right, there we go. Go talk with you. There we go. Get out of the poison. <laughs> try to. I'm, I'm gonna try and keep him alive if I can. There we go. Dude is dead. You are so dead. Boom. Teamwork! Unrefined Sake. A bottle of cloudy unrefined Sake. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy Sake is one of Ishin Ashina's favorites. It is a rich, full body flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. And we get a prayer bead. So there we go. We actually kept Samurai Guy alive. So now we can talk with him. That fight was hard. On this old body. Go on ahead. I'm glad you lived, good sir. Maybe that will help us later on. Like the fact that we kept him alive. Maybe that will, uh, you know, unlock something later in the game. I really don't know. FromSoft games have a tendency to do stuff like that. Oh. All right. So there are a couple enemies here. And we want to properly sneak out. It was not very sneaky, but nonetheless, they're going to die. There we go. Oh. Hi. I was <laughs> spamming X, and apparently it's a thing. Is there anything else in here? Are there any enemies? No, but there's a treasure chest. Hello. What are you? A prayer bead. Wow, that's incredible. It's a prayer bead for free that I don't have to fight a mini boss for. This is a fantastic thing. I did not know that this was here. Uh, how did I get out? Was it frame rate lag, please? Was it this? Hug the wall? Oh, and I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so if we find suspicious walls, we should hug them and see if something happens. That's good to know. In case there are secret doorways like that. Um. Doesn't really... Oh, here's an item. Talk with her. Pretty sure this is the old lady who gave us the bell. Of owl, I saw a dreadful vision. It was pouring out more and more. It wouldn't stop. Wouldn't stop. The young master. The young master is deep in the mansion. My son, Inosuke. When yeah, he rescued it's definitely the uh, the old lady who gave us the bell. But, but you never know. The young master might need you, Rogue Shinobi. Go to him, will you? All right. So, first things first. Commune with the idol. I don't think we actually need to, like, do anything. Uh, although I will totally purchase all the spirit emblems because we have a boss coming up who's actually annoying. Uh, and then I want to go here. Change that to the Nightjar Slash. We've got our shurikens. Uh, I really, uh, I mean, I don't think we really need the snap seeds. I think we're fine without them. This guy's gonna die. You're dead. All right, talk with you. Uh, 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 you, the young man. 
masters. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Dreadful illusion techniques. Without a snap seed, it cannot be overcome. You're wrong, it can be. It's not much, but it's what I have. All right. So, we are about to fight Lady Butterfly, who is a fairly challenging boss. Apparently, only like half of the people who have Sekiro on Steam have actually gotten the achievement for beating Lady Butterfly. Apparently, this is one of the bosses that is insanely tough. But I think we can do it. I know this. I have the master strats. I don't know if we'll do it on the first attempt, but we'll try. Mother? Mother? The butterflies. Everyone is gone. My lord. Illusion technique. Wake up. Oh. Clap, clap. It's been a long time, son of Owl. Lady Butterfly, leave us. Who are... Do what must be done. Yes. All right, here we go. Whew. I'm ready. Let's dance. Now then, son of Owl, shall we dance? I have to say, I also love the music for this boss fight. Vitality and posture. The lower one's vitality, the slower their posture recovers. Yep, got it. Uh, why? why I have the wrong equip. Okay, this is <laughs> this is not a great start. It was a terrible start, actually, but it's fine. Get in there. Wow, I am not handling this well. I don't think this is the one that we're going to... I don't think we're going to beat it first attempt, but that's fine. This is why we bought our spirit emblems. I'm playing this very poorly right now. There we go. Just got to get in the rhythm. Ah, man. All right. That's fine. We will resurrect. Just got to get the right. There we go. Got to jump over that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, all right. Well, we started that fight off very, very poorly. But I know we can do this. I just got to get the the rhythm of her dance moves. Though, <laughs> Correct. Don't let this guy hit you before the boss fight. All right. And this guy does not give you another snap seed. So... We don't need to talk to him. We just go down and go for it. Oh, why would you not block that, you fool? Jump on her head. It really is a dance. I missed. I missed. Ah, no. That hurt. Okay. I know our health is low, but I don't have Got her. All right, heal. There we go. There we go. We're fine. And then she's going to charge in. She did not charge in. There we go. Ah, uh, that's where you Nightjar Slash. 
You gotta be aggressive with her. Man. Didn't jump on her head, but that's fine. I don't know where she went. Camera, please. Lock on. There we go. Swing back. Hit her a couple times. Stay on her with the Nightjar Slash. Why would you not jump there? You fool. Fire. You want to fire like right as that red icon comes up with the shuriken and knock her out of the air and interrupt her combo. But when the camera is like that, it's very hard to do. Now, there we go. Man. Still just a puppy. Ah. All right. Got to get the rhythm down. I know that we can do this. There we go. This is a totally winnable fight. Just be smart. Be smart. Alright, she's gonna shuriken. Block him. Block her attacks. Move. Okay. Ah, let her hit me there. Let her throw her shurikens. Let's recover some posture. Got her. Man. Man. <laughs> like, this is the terrible thing is, like, I know... This is basically as far as I got uh, in my, like, single-player self-playthrough before I started the series. And I did beat her. So I know that I can beat her. Where'd she go? Got her. Jump. Jump on her head. And we're dead anyway. Like, I know. I know I'm capable of doing this. I've done it. <laughs> She's just... She just requires you to... Not necessarily be perfect, but... Like, you need to stay focused and, like... Make it happen. Alright. We can do this. I know that we can do this. I didn't jump on her head like I was supposed to. Attack back. Fire. Stay on her. Now she jumps over there. I've almost got her. Come on. There we go. This should do it. All right, death blow. And phase two. Impressive. Ooh. All right. Phase two. Hit her. And 
And now she summons illusions. So we just run. This is the part where you're supposed to use a snap seed, but you really don't need to. I'm going to heal up here. Run! Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Wait for the illusions to disappear, because they will just disappear on their own after a while. I think I... All right, so the illusions are gone. Where'd she go? Oh, no! Ow! It hurts so much! All right, resurrect, heal. I can't tar- Why do you not target? Jump! Got her. All right, heal. No! Heal! Heal. Okay, there we go. No! Alright, she's gonna summon illusions again. So we just need to run. And... I think I want to get the healing pellets up. We gotta wait till the illusions disappear. And they will. Just run a couple laps. All right, there they go. And now all the illusions are going to turn into magical projectiles. There we go. There we go. That was unfortunate. All right, there's the illusions again. Pop a pellet. And now run. We'll pop another pellet in a minute if I need to. Once this one wears off. Unfortunately, her posture is going to go, like, way down. Hello. Pop a pellet. Heal back up. All right. There's all that. So now we just keep running. Wait for all those to go away. Because they hurt so bad. Oh, no. Not frame rate. No, frame rate, please. I did not jump when I should have jumped. There we go. I think we got it right here. We got her. Boom. Oh, I knew we could do it. Oh, uh, you need to finish her. <laughs> I was... I was like, oh, we got her. And then she's sitting there with the death blow icon and I'm not hitting it. Oh, man. That fight. That's a tough one, but it's totally doable. As long as you stay on her. And we get the Sakura, uh, Sakura Droplet. Pale pink crystal residue known to form when an modal oath fails to establish increases resurrective power, allowing it one additional resurrection. So now instead of re re uh, resurrecting only once, we can actually resurrect twice. But I think there is a cooldown between resurrections. And I have been stabbed by somebody with a big sword. Oh no! I, I don't. You don't. I, I don't know if you ever actually find out who it is. I know you don't find out who stabbed you. Uh, at least getting like to the point of the game that I have ever gotten to. Kuro! You fought bravely on my behalf. 
I wonder if this is like the first time that you ever revive. Maybe that's not a thing before this. I bet this is where you get the power. Take my blood and live again. Oh, all right. Lady Butterfly has been defeated. What is it? Oh, I guess... I thought he would tell me something about, like, the memory, but I guess not. Still, I will absolutely take it. So now... We can commune... Oh, uh, actually, before we do this, let's go talk with Emma real quick. She should be done with her, uh, research on the dragon rot. You. Any progress? Yes. I've found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but... It must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rod? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rod, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken. Here you are. Dragon's Blood Droplet. We'll cure the Dragon Rot, and we get the Recovery Charm, which allows us to actually use the Dragon's Blood Droplets to cure the Dragon Rot. Uh, but it only cures it temporarily, and then when you die a whole bunch more times, uh, it goes back to not being cured anymore. And the Dragon's Rot apparently doesn't really do that much. Like, the only time you really need to cure it is if it's directly affecting an NPC that you need to talk to for something. So I'm just going to leave it for now. I could cure it. But there's only limited uh, beads or whatever, uh, limited dragon's rot thingies available. So I think my best bet is just to rest up here. We also have three skill points that I can spend right now. Let's just take a look and see what we have available to us. Flowing water reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked by an enemy with a sword. Recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow. Both of those actually seem like really good. I don't think we need the uh, Ikimanji or Ichimanji or however this is pronounced double. I don't think we need that. I'm kind of leaning towards flowing water right now. Although suppressed sound would actually be pretty good as well. And Shinobi Eyes. This, okay, yeah, 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 that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit the run and slide so that I can get Shinobi Eyes. And that'll be our next skill. Increases uh, Mikiri counter stuff. And then probably Flowing Water. Or maybe we get Flowing Water first. I'm trying to think, like, what enemies I'm aware of that are actually coming up. <laughs> and which ones I want. Either way, I think I am pretty much out of time for this episode, so I think I'm going to call this one here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.